Action! Action! Hello! Welcome to Sippin' and Spilling with Sid and Mike from Three Mississippi. In Three Mississippi. Just in Mississippi. We're in Three. In Mississippi. Okay. We had a day. It's been a day. So we it was kind of a weird day. <laughs> so one of my good friends um is actually looking to move out here. So we were looking at their uh, one of the properties that we drove by to look at it for him today. And then we, um, Frankie just- You're behind me. the light, Frankie. I yeah. can see your silhouette. Yeah, Frankie just like randomly walked out here. Oh, Mary's trying to call you. It'll be fine, I'll okay. call her back. She called twice, that's why I was like. I'm gonna go take a phone call. Talk to the people. Okay, cause we don't edit. <laughs> right. That's a work call, that's why he's taking it. Um, <laughs> so we actually went to um, uh, Chickasaw Equipment today, which they have like tractors and uh, side by sides and stuff. They mainly just carry Polaris, which I don't think that's the brand we're gonna go with for, and I don't think we're gonna go for a side by side. Um, we might, but I doubt it. If we do, it'll probably be like a used one somewhere. Um, probably gonna end up with like a quad of some kind. Um, my one friend was telling me about uh, the Honda 420s was a good one. I for again forgot to put bug spray on before I came outside. So wish me luck. If you see me going like this a lot, it's because I didn't put spray. I did light the candle, but <laughs> I just, I try not to get too many bites because I've got a, a wonker on my leg right now. So if I get too many at once, it's like bad news bears, but I, I just forget to put the stuff on. That's part of the problem. I don't think about it until until I'm already been outside for a few minutes and I go, ooh, I should put bug spray. <laughs> but it's all right, I survive every time. It's, you know, it's like, I feel like I'm sort of getting like small doses of it. Like I'm building up an immunity to Iocane powder. So each bug bite has been progressively not as bad as the one previous, <laughs> cause I'm just getting so many of them. But we're almost getting to that time of year where all the bugs die off. I mean, they don't, I don't know, they go away. I don't know, they go crawl back into the depths of hell from whence they came. Um, and they leave me alone for a little while while it's cold. So I'm, I am looking forward to that. I know I've still got a few, what, like probably till November-ish before that really kind of kicks in. And I've only got a couple more weeks of enjoying the hummingbird feeders before it's time to pull those because you're supposed to put them up when the weather shifts because they migrate somewhere warmer. I don't know where they go but they go. Um, I should Google that. Now I'm curious where the hummingbirds go when they're not here. Like, do they go to Tahiti or do they just go to like, I mean, we used to still see them a lot in Southern California, not like a ton, a ton. Cause it did get, I mean, not right where we were cause it did get pretty cold there. But I just wonder now, like where, where do the hummingbirds go? I honestly have no idea, but, um, we did go look at these tractors today. I know, squirrel, sight. See, this is how my brain, it's like monkey, monkey, underpants. Um, there's a big bag of weird in there. Um, so if you can name what that's from, by the way, you get extra points. Because points towards what, we don't know, but you do get extra points. Uh, so anyway, we went to go look at these tractors today because now I know we haven't done a video on it yet. I'll give you the breakdown on that. So Mike did buy two used, like, 70s model Ford tractors, okay, that are like 4,700 uh, horsepower or something. I don't know. Anyway, there's all these numbers and letters. It's just like, it's just like when they talk about different um, Pew Pew models and they're like the RX5 2073. It's like, just tell me if it a long barrel, is it a short barrel, is it a revolver, is it a, like, just tell me like, don't give it all these weird, it's just like with cars when they get with the fancy, it's a Z, C class, blah, blah, blah. It's like, just say what it is. It's the crappier version or it's the nicer version. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. He bought two of these tractors because the guy was selling them as a package he used. And we verified with our friends out here that um, have a tractor dealership. They sell new ones, obviously. Um, that, oh, that's a smoking deal. You should grab those. Well, the problem is that those tractors are and i might insert like a picture of them right here so you guys can see 
what I'm talking about since I'm describing them so terribly. They are pretty blue and white. Um, totally retro looking tractors. They're cool looking. I dig them. However, they're a little bit trickier to drive. Um, and while it does have a bush hog, which Mike has used on part of the hillside there where he wants to put the guard in, he started clearing that out. Um, it's, it's just not, it, Mike said it was kind of like driving a, a three wheeler. Like it just feels like it's going to roll all over. And if you go over any bump or hill, it just kind of feels top heavy, which I could completely see just watching him drive it. I was like, mm, kind of looks like if you blew on it, it would fall over. Now I know it's sturdier than that. And it just takes some practice. And you know, Mike doesn't have a lot of practice driving that kind of machinery. It just takes practice, but there's certain attachments that we need for certain things that we want to be able to do around here, like a bucket and a front loading fork, because we want to be able to take out a few of the trees in certain areas, like around the pond. Um, we want to thin out some of those pines so we can really clean up that pond uh, area and potentially at some point expand it. Um, but, and you guys have seen the pond in previous videos, like it needs some love, it needs some work, it needs some cleaning up. Um, and there's a lot of pine needles and a lot of all the trees are kind of grown over it. So it's very like dark right there. So it's really hard for the sunlight to get in and it kind of looks more swamp like than pond like at the moment. And so we do want to get that cleaned up. Um, but the problem is with all of that shade and stuff, the tractor that he has now can't pull out those trees to like make it less shady and clean it up because you can't put any front attachments on it. It's just not built for that. Um, so we were looking at these tractors today that will have a bucket and we'll have the fork thing so that we can pull trees out, knock them down. Um, when we get to the point where we're doing um, uh, large amounts of like feed grains and things that we can move pallets of feed with this we can you know load it up we can whatever and move it out to the barn from the truck and whatever right so that would definitely come in handy and not to mention just lots of other things that you know a, a bucket is going to come in handy for when we're you know moving compost piles um you know if we have to dig out an area for something you know there's different bucket attachments and the teeth and all that you know so there's lots of things that Oh, and then the disc, the disky thing for, yeah. So, you know, there's all that kind of stuff that this tractor would work for. I'm sorry, I'm totally trying not to get bit like crazy, but I'm pretty sure it's happening. So, <laughs> um, but that's what I got. I'm gonna hover over the candle uh, and try not to get bit too much. But, um, so we went and looked at these Kubotas. Um, Mike's got them written down. I think he took the piece of paper with him, but we were gonna talk about exactly which the different models were. I can tell you this, one of them was a little bit sleeker and the bucket length was five feet, 60 inches. The other one was 66 inches and a little bit thicker on the sides. But the smaller one with the smaller bucket um, had a different uh, thingamabobber on the back that was Mobetta. And I don't remember exactly. I know I'm super helpful. I was paying attention, but I was also filming while all of this was going on <laughs> for the upcoming tractor video. Um, so I was more focused on my cinematography than I was like the actual conversation. Um, but it, I mean, it, it, it looks like it'll do everything we want it to do. Um, we were talking, we're going to wait. So today's what, like the 24th, 23rd, something like that. No, today's the 23rd. Yeah. Well, no, today's the 22nd. I'll get this straight. I know you guys are going to see this on the 23rd. Some, we always have to film these at night because it's impossible to film them and get them out on the day of because of Mike's schedule. It's just too hard. So, and he's been super slammed at work lately. So it's made it more challenging for us to like even do it before he technically starts work in the morning because his phone's been ringing off the hook from, you know, like, sometimes as early as six, well, not a 6.30 our time, like seven something our time. So he's been busy. <laughs> um, 6.30 our time, seven. Yeah, which is like really early there, whatever. Anywho, 
So trying to get them filmed in the morning so that I can like, I still have to um, render the video so that it can be uploaded uh, to YouTube. So even if you just film it, you still have to like render it to upload it. So um, yeah, so we still have to do a little bit of zhuzhing. Um, but it's not like I'm clipping anything out. It's obviously, I didn't even stop filming when Mike got up and left. This is life. <laughs> so, but, um, so we are having to, most of the time, so far, shoot them the night before and then post them, which I actually kind of like because shooting the day of is like, well, we just talked about what happened yesterday. Whereas now I'm talking about what happened today. For you guys, it will have been yesterday. But for us, it's like fresh on our brain. It was what was happening today. So I don't know. Do with that what you will. Um, but anyway, so we're looking at these tractors and we were talking about it because, um, you know, we brought out Mike's Honda, the little go-kart, the Honda Fit, um, which I gotta drive into town or something tomorrow because I haven't driven it in a while. Nobody's driven it. So it, it needs driven before the battery dies again. Um, <laughs> I haven't driven it in like a week, almost a week. So I need to start it up and at least drive it around the property or something. Um, but my truck that we leased, the lease is up in May. And I think what we're gonna do, we're kicking around the idea of just going ahead with the way the car market is right now. And we locked in at a good price to buy out the, to buy it, I should say, after the lease. I think what we're gonna end up doing is just buying it after the lease is up. And then, um, because, and I think this makes sense, but without getting into like the details of numbers, but just like explaining, um, the tractor, they'll do like a, that's the big debate is they'll, they're going to change their thing on October 1st, potentially right now they're at 48 months. They were at 60 months, 0% APR which means you could put some down, you know, figure out what you want your monthly payment to be, and then the rest is, you know, zero interest, so you're just paying off exactly what you are borrowing, which is ideal in any situation. It's harder to get that on a vehicle, especially right now. They do, they did have that for a little while, right around the time that I uh, leased the truck. Um, they did have some, uh, you know, real low APRs and zeros on some models and whatever. But uh, right now with inflation and interest rates being what they are, I think it would make more sense instead of trying to finance a used truck, which is going to be, a, you know, because that's what they consider the lease vehicle, I, I'm pretty sure in most scenarios, uh, even though I was the one driving it, whatever, um, that it, the interest rate would be a lot higher. So I think it would make more sense for us to go ahead and just pay the truck, buy it outright, eliminate that monthly payment, and then have a smaller monthly payment for the tractor. And then eventually I think what's gonna happen because this tractor is gonna do all the other things, I think, I think eventually that Mike needs, or that he bought the Ford tractors for, I think he's gonna go ahead and sell those um, and pretty much be able to make back what he sold or what he bought them for. Hopefully, um, you know, if not, we'll hang on to them for a little while. They'll, they'll be a project. The one does need a little bit of work, but they're both in really good shape. Um, the one just needs like a new tire is all really. And it's, they're pretty cleaned up. They're in good shape. Like there's nothing wrong with them at all. They're actually really nice tractors and they run, they start right up, no issues, but just won't quite do all the things that we kind of had on our checklist. And I think he got a little bit panicked and decided to like just grab these, but it's okay. You know, I think he got excited. He was really wanting to bush hog that area. And so he was like, this is what I need. It comes with a bush hog, let's get it. So I was like, okay, that's fine. You know tractors, I don't, like you're the guy. But um, you know, not everything sticks around forever. Sometimes you hang on to something for a little while and resell it. And I think that's probably what's gonna happen, which is fine. You know, that's no big deal. So I think that's probably going to be our plan, but we'll probably end up doing that like the beginning of October. Oh, we have a plan? So that'll be like, I, I think I'm getting a tractor for my birthday. I, I see you guys waited for me. We did. Ah. So, um, yeah, we were just, I already... You're getting a tractor for your birthday? Apparently. It's going to be a little before your a birthday. A little bit before, but I mean, 
I don't think you're gonna have time to drive the tractor but all hey, the way to Ross. What you're not <laughs> <laughs> What you're not gonna get is something from Ross for your birthday. There you go, yeah. Although Did you tell them that story? No. Let's not. Should I? Well now they're gonna wanna know. This is zipping and spilling. You know what? Ask us about it. Maybe we'll spill it Maybe on another. We'll, yeah, if you guys are curious enough to know, ask us and we'll tell you all about Ross and the history of Maybe, maybe, sin. maybe, maybe <laughs> most of the, most of the truth. I'll give you the highlights. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry, I skipped out on pretty much the whole uh, yeah, the episode, right. didn't I? Did you talk about these? I did not get to the pears yet because those are your jam. <laughs> get it? <laughs> Ooh, Super pear easy. jam. Yes. Um, you know, in yesterday's episode, the girls, or Sid was talking about, the girls went and picked some pears. And I have no idea what kind of pears these are. I don't even know if that camera is focusing. Let me get closer. I have no idea. Oh, you think it's focused? I don't know. I you can feel me... fire. Well, don't Those are the pears. We're have roasted pears in a minute. Those are the pears. I don't know what variety these are. Those are citronella roasted pears now. But they are really good pears. I, maybe I had a bad one. I have to try Should again. we make her eat one right now? I don't, what if I don't like it? It seems like that's not right. Pears are not supposed to be that tough, right? Unless your knife is extremely That tough. is super right. Is it? Yeah. I don't know about this. Yeah. Is it hot fruit? I don't like hot fruit. She's like a sad apple. Pears are supposed to be softer than this, Michael. This is not right. No, that's perfect. If you, if you taste all that sugar, that pear is good to go. I think it needs a little more time. Well, They're very hard. It's not that hard. It's like Himika. So look at that. That's amazing. I feel like there's wind moving in. You guys, I know you guys can hear the wind chime yeah. off and on. But there's the wind, wind is picking up. It's picking up. It's like cooled down considerably from just a little while ago. Yeah, temperature yeah. drop. Very but much I pressure. Look, there is no rain coming. Really? Still no I rain. Thought, I would have. I could feel. Still no rain, but who knows? It's the weather app. Yeah, what's the word? Go right ask now? a hay guy. He'll tell you if it's going to rain. Yeah, you want to know if it's going to rain, ask the guy that, that cuts and bales the hay. Yeah, ask that. They know. They know it all. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, so I think we're going to wait till like the beginning of October um, to pull the trigger on that yeah. tractor. We're going to figure out this weekend what we're going to do. Tell them which these tractor pairs. it is. I said it was a Pagoda. It's, uh, yeah, it's not a very big one. You told them it's like I told one them of the that I ones, could right? lay down in the bucket because it's a 60 inch and then there's a 66 inch bucket. Yeah, the one I'm looking at is actually the, the smaller bucket, yeah. and um, and you'll see that on one of the videos coming up on Three Mississippi. She filmed everything while we were there, but I like the more compact bucket for the purpose of compost, which is the main thing I'm going to use it for. What? Don't you think it's funny that it's exactly the size of my body? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah. I did threaten to throw him in the pig pen to make the body disappear. Now he's buying a tractor with a bucket that is conveniently my body size but it is a small it's a it's a it's a, it's a small mm -hmm. tractor it's one of the smallest ones um, it's cute though i don't like the color it's bright orange you can google it it's the lx 2610 yeah that's the tractor model and i know like because there's some people that are like camp kubota and there's some people that are like camp john deere or camp honda or camp what and i'm like here's the deal guys sometimes you're gonna be like pro Chevy. Sometimes you're gonna be pro. Four. Were you trying to see where I'm gonna go with this? Oh yeah. I love it. Okay. <laughs> but here's the deal. The 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 family that that runs Chickasaw Equipment, we we kind of gotten close to. We spend yeah, every Sunday they're, with they're them. Really we go to people. church with them. We go to after church lunch with them. Like every week, they've really welcomed us. Not a untrustworthy bone. Yeah in any of them and they'll tell you like like all of them like if there's something you ask them and they don't know they'll tell you i don't know but if they know they'll tell you yeah like they're not the type of people to shine you on it's you not know? like you're going to some used car lot Fast somewhere talking. yeah where you know where they're just trying to work <laughs> yeah. no i mean the, these people are these these are good people they so, are good people. And um, so um, yeah so, i have yeah. no problem buying a tractor from them right. they are a kubota dealer Right. Um, so yeah, we're gonna of course we're gonna go look there first because we like them, we trust them. Mike has done his research. He knows that they're it's a good company, it's a good tractor, yeah. you know. I mean there's nothing there's nothing wrong with them. So anyway, I'm just trying to spare some of the comments of 
you should have gotten this or you should have gotten yeah. that or because I just well yeah. it doesn't matter what we're talking about like you said Chevy <laughs> Ford yeah it's always going to be somebody 270 who, versus yeah. you know 308 versus 65 oh well, even when we got the zero turn oh you shouldn't have gotten the computer yeah, yeah you shouldn't hey, have gone with that brand like, you should have oh, gone with this brand know. Like, hey you know what you know that thing's been kicking ass yeah. out there mowing I mean it, it's awesome and it's split down the middle job. it doesn't matter what type of thing like that that we mention it's half of you love them and half of you hate them. now what I think I'm going to get more of is not going to be the fact that it's Kubota I think I'm going to get a lot of people that it's your third tractor well there's that too there's that <laughs> I think there's going to be a lot of people um telling me go bigger get a bigger tractor that's what she said um and this is a small tractor. I'm I'm not gonna lie. And uh, I, you know, I, I sat down and I thought about it. And I thought, what am I gonna be doing? I'm not gonna be doing heavy tree work. I'm not gonna need to get a grapple that I can yank logs out with. Uh, I'm not gonna be doing you know heavy dirt removal, dirt work. I'm gonna be doing a lot of composting. Um, and this bucket is perfect for that. We're gonna be we're gonna use the pallet uh, the, the the pallet forks, um, 55 gallon drums of feed, 300 350 pounds. Um, this tractor is I believe plenty of tractor for for the things that we are going to need it for. Uh, so the the mindset of you know get bigger than you need that way you can grow into it. Man, you you gotta look at the prices. I mean. If it's going to be two or three years before I'm going to need, you know, a, a bigger tractor because I decide I want to dig my own pond or whatever, I mean, um, that's that's uh, something to worry about then. I mean, right now I need to be realistic. I need to be frugal. I need to get a, a good piece of reliable equipment with a good warranty um, that is going to do the job that we need to do at a reasonable, fair price. And that's why I'm going with the size of tractor and the model, you know, the uh, the manufacturer that I'm going with. So, um, you know, that's about all the justifying that I'm going to do for my actions yeah. to you judgmental people. Oh, stop. Just <laughs> no, but we, and but the reason that we're waiting was that right now they're at 48 months. I think I started to mention this and I squirreled, but right now they're at 48 months at zero APR. But potentially on October 1st is when they switch over. If they're going to change it, they're gonna, that's when they're going to do it. Right. Which means it could go back to 60 months at zero down. Or they, or could, they, could, the same. Or they could drop it. Or they, it's I a gamble. It is a bit of a gamble. I don't think yeah. they'll drop it. Because even Daniel was like, eh, they're not going to change the zero. They're probably not. Because, Because yeah. like, their competitors all do it. Right. So you can't But really if we eat. wait one week, uh, yeah, they we, may potentially. We can have. They may potentially bump it up to 60 months versus 48 months at zero percent, and that's huge. That's that's you know you spread the payments out over 60 months as opposed to 48 months. Right. That becomes a lot more affordable. And anytime you can get zero percent APR, um, to me it makes more sense to keep the cash in the bank and let somebody loan you free money and make payments as long as that reserve is there. As soon as you start paying interest on those payments, that's a different story. Right. Now it may make more sense to, to buy it outright, but... Um, right, better to earn the interest on your bank account than to be paying interest to somebody else. Right. Right. I but I'm not that. Dave Ramsey, and I don't, <laughs> I don't pretend to be a financial consultant, so we will stop that conversation there. Stop. But, you know, there. message me if you want my, you know, my don't, advice don't, on your... <laughs> don't. Don't do it. He'll have you buying three tractors by tomorrow. Hey. <laughs> Those other two tractors, first of all, were a good investment. I got a smoking I deal on them. And if I do sell them, I will make money on that deal. I guarantee I just, that. I just would like the record to show that he was very adamant. He's like, we're not going to, like, don't go buy anything. Don't spend any money. Like, when we first get there, we have to think about things. And then immediately it was like, three tractors and a zero turn, please. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, and a chainsaw. We got a chainsaw today too. Oh, I'm not supposed to talk about the chainsaw. A chainsaw came today. Um, I forget what other oddities that he's purchased or had me. Oh yeah, all the the shooting table, um, the gun, like all kinds of stuff. Right. Yeah. So, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. But <laughs> I just think it's funny because I'm like, aren't I supposed to be the one that's just like? <laughs> but apparently it's him. He's gonna buy a tractor in every color. I am. <laughs> 
I'm gonna get a blue one. That's New Holland. Oh, I have a blue have Ford. Blue I'm gonna get a green one. That's John Deere. That's John Deere. I'm gonna get orange a orange Kubota. The orange Kubota. I'm gonna get a red one. What's, Mahindra. What's the pink one? A pink one. I need a pink tractor. Oh, can I get a pink and cow print tractor? Because I think that would be very sexy. There is no pink. I can make it. You can paint it. Frankie and I can paint. The Somebody out there knows some Swedish brand of tractor. Frankie that's pink. and I can paint the Kubota. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Why not? The, the resale value alone, forget about it. Really? Yeah. Wait orange. until after you crash it, roll it in the creek, whatever. I mean, it's when, very orange. It is very orange. It is a recognizable color. Just like, I mean, John Deere tractors are very green. Yeah, but at least that's like a nature color. Or, that orange is like, like Amish caution cone orange. Yeah, that's about right. It's a lot. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Hey, when you're looking through the trees out at the back pasture, you're going to see the tractor. Oh, Mike's back there. Just right on. Yeah, okay. That's accurate, but I don't know. Anyway, apparently in a week and a half, we're going to have another tractor, it looks like. And then I can get a yellow one. That's Case. Uh -huh. John Deere actually made some yellow ones, too. Then I can get a white one, Bobcat. Bobcat makes tractors, too. That's true. Um, but if I was going to get a Bobcat, I'd probably get a skid loader. I like skid loaders. I know you don't. That's All what Will joystick. wanted you to, to get was a skid loader. Yeah, a skid but, steer. Yeah. 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 It's, first of all, a skid steer is a lot more expensive well, here's than the deal. this tractor. If they live, bought. if they are close enough, he's like, we can swap equipment. I'll buy that stuff and he has the tractor and we'll just use whatever we need. I'm like, yeah. That's fine. Sure. If they buy the place they were looking at. We can drive the tractor there from here. Right, that's what we were saying. Don't even need to put trailer it. Just drive it over there. Yeah, it's close. Yeah. That would sure. be nice. So, anyway, I'm keeping my fingers crossed on that one because it would be nice to have my, my buddies close by. He's going to be over here harvesting our deer. No, he said he's going to hunt on, on his. Yeah. He's afraid you're going to get mad if he takes all your big bucks. And then he said, he's like, I don't want it to ruin our friendship if I come on okay. your land and hunt and I get all the big deer. Okay. <laughs> Right. Him, him, and him, and David will still be over here sighting their rifles in when I'm out there field dressing one. Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. That's good. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, don't forget tonight, 6 p.m. Central is our Friday Night Live. I know that this weekend is Pinecone Fest, so I know that might you know there's a lot going on. A lot of channels probably going to be going live. Uh, so no hard feelings. I know people might be bouncing around. I hope they're having fun out there this weekend. Um, anyway, we will see you guys tonight at 6 p.m. Central. And we will be posting a new video every Sunday and every Wednesday on 3 Mississippi and every Monday through Friday here, like we always do, on Sippin' and Spillin'. Sippin'! Bye, guys.